Hi, it's Katrina. From the most famous diving spot in the world to the most dangerous, here are 10 of the world's most fascinating blue holes and what's inside. Number 10. Clues to Life in Alien Oceans This might not be the first thing when you think of blue holes, but National Geographic has reported that cave diving scientists have discovered hot spots of microbial life deep inside three blue holes in the Bahamas. These new microbes, well, new to us, feed on sulfur compounds such as hydrogen sulfide that are toxic to other life forms. This is pretty exciting, not only because that means we have found new life forms on Earth, but because blue holes might replicate conditions on other planets. So in oceans millions of miles away, there could be similar life. Ecosystems based on sulfur could be similar on other planets. In the deep, dark depths of blue holes, oxygen is very scarce, as you'll soon learn, and sunlight is only available near the surface. That means that whatever is near the bottom of blue holes is quite different than the rest of the world. Inside blue holes is pretty extreme, but somehow there are still creatures that manage to survive, including shrimp, mites, copepods, and crustaceans. Number 9. The Great Blue Hole of Belize A blue hole is an underwater sinkhole that appears as a dark blue circle and is typically formed by the erosion of carbonate rocks. The world's largest underwater sinkhole is located off the coast of Belize. It measures 984 feet across and 410 feet deep. For decades, scuba divers and snorkelers were drawn to the Blue Hole, especially after legendary explorer Jacques Cousteau went there and shared it with the world. However, what lay hidden at the bottom remained a mystery. In December 2018, an Aquatica submarines crew joined by billionaire Richard Branson, Fabien Cousteau, the explorer's grandson, and National Geographic explorer descended to the bottom of the Great Blue Hole in an attempt to create a 3D map of its interior. Along the way, they witnessed many species of wildlife, including turtles, sharks, and giant corals. At roughly 300 feet down, the team observed the hole's hydrogen sulfide layer, which sits below and cuts off all light from above. At this layer, life starts to vanish as the thick layer of toxic gas just floats. Underneath it, there is no oxygen or life at all. At that point, the team relied on the assistance of high-resolution sonar to see the hole's contents. Near the bottom of the hole, roughly 407 feet deep, the crew encountered something they did not expect. Stalactites like the ones that hang down like icicles in caves. Experts believe that the stalactites, along with dripstone sheets and columns, were formed during glacial periods in a dry cavern above sea level. This cave must have formed during the last ice age and then flooded and collapsed. There are strange markings on the floor and many things that are still unexplained, so there is still much more to explore. One thing that everyone on the research team said was that it was very quiet and peaceful down there. Number 8. Missing Divers The hydrogen sulfide layer of the Great Blue Hole of Belize contains the remains of hermit crabs and conch shells who fell in and basically suffocated to death. It also bears the hallmarks of divers who tried escaping, along with a GoPro with memory card intact and an array of scientific equipment. The team also discovered the bodies of two lost divers. Anything that fell into the hole decomposed until that process used up all of the oxygen below 290 feet, submarine pilot Erica Bergman explained in an interview with Newsweek. That means that below the hydrogen sulfide, there is no oxygen and anything that falls down there now is preserved. While experts believe that three divers went missing in the hole, they admittedly are unsure how many people have died in it. Estimates say about 130 divers have lost their lives in the last 15 years. The team reported the remains to the government and all agreed to let them stay in their final resting place to rest in peace. Number 7. The Blue Holes of the Bahamas There are over 200 underwater sinkholes in and near the Bahamian island of Andros, more than anywhere else in the world. 175 of them are located inland and another 50 are situated in the shallow waters offshore. Andros Island is also home to the 40,000-acre Andros Blue Hole National Park, which has remained largely unexplored following explorer Jacques Cousteau's 1971 visit. While there, Cousteau added dye to an inland sinkhole and it reappeared offshore, lending credibility to the theory that the sinkholes are connected with the ocean. 
Yet to this day, little is known about the blue holes of the Bahamas, including the depth of the sinkhole Cousteau added die to nearly a half century ago. Inland holes are noticeably different from offshore ones, and the sinkholes at Andros Island are different from anywhere else on Earth. On the surface, they seem like swamps, appearing black and devoid of light thanks to the accumulation of dead bacteria they contain. There is a thin layer of fresh water on the surface, and below that is devoid of oxygen. Researchers speculate that the high hydrogen sulfide content that exists beneath the surfaces of these sinkholes has helped preserve prehistoric life forms, perhaps including species who are capable of surviving without oxygen. Until recently, no one had really gone down there, but now scientists have begun investigating and have found that no Bahamian blue hole shares the same species of bacteria. Who knows what could be down there, lurking below even further. And now for number 6, but first, big shout out to Jokesep J, who was very supportive of my first diving experience, and Gary Daniel, do you want to help me organize an Origins Explained diving trip? It would have to be for beginners though. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here, and let us know about your diving experience in the comments below. Number 6. New Jersey's Blue Hole The Pine Barrens of Winslow, New Jersey are home to numerous small icy blue pools of water known simply as the Blue Holes. These formations are rumored to be the pit stops of the legendary Jersey Devil. Locals caution their children against swimming in the holes, despite how inviting they may seem, especially on a hot summer day, citing age-old tales about swimmers being sucked into the murky depths by unexplained whirlpools that form within. Some people who supposedly escaped the whirlpools claim that an invisible force tried pulling them down into the water below. According to local folklore, the sinkhole's bottoms are made of a fine sand, which is similar to quicksand. The sinkholes throughout South Jersey are mostly former quarries that have filled with water. These water bodies are surprisingly still and pleasant. As harmless as they may seem, however, environmental and law enforcement officers have cautioned people against swimming in them, and for good reason. In July 2015, a 17-year-old athlete named Darius Boyer drowned in a sinkhole. Earlier in 2008, the sinkholes claimed the lives of two teenagers. These were just a few of the many deaths that have occurred in New Jersey's sinkholes over the years. The sinkholes lack proper beaches and plunge to depths of 50 or 100 feet without warning, resulting in cold waters that can cause cramps, as well as strong currents that are capable of overpowering strong swimmers. Local police have grown accustomed to chasing swimmers away from the water, but as long as the sinkholes exist, people will probably continue to visit them, against the advice of experts and despite the many tragedies that have occurred at these sites. Number 5. Dean's Blue Hole The world's second deepest hole is called Dean's Blue Hole and is located in a bay west of Long Island in the Bahamas. Dean's Blue Hole is 663 feet deep, making it nearly twice as deep as the average sinkhole, which has a maximum depth of 360 feet. The water surrounding the hole is waist deep, and the hole itself is crystal clear, reaching a visibility of 115 feet on good days. Once a diver reaches 65.6 feet below the surface, the hole's diameter expands from 82 to 114 feet to approximately 328 feet. Besides being deep, Dean's Blue Hole is also beautiful and is one of the world's most popular snorkeling and diving sites. Its surrounding beaches are also known for their beauty. In late 2010, professional diver William Truebridge swam 331 feet into the hole on a single breath, outdoing his previous world record of 302 feet. This type of competition comes with potentially fatal risks. In 2013, free diver Nicholas Mivoli died in Dean's Blue Hole while trying to set a new record. Number 4. Blue Hole of Dahab The Blue Hole of Dahab is located in the Red Sea along the Egyptian coast. At 393.7 feet deep, it's possibly the world's deepest blue hole, but you know, jury is still out. It's known for its stunning natural beauty, which is most visible at a depth of 184 feet, where an opening to the Red Sea becomes visible. The hole is both beautiful and deadly. Divers are known to become disoriented and to suffer from a condition called nitrogen narcosis, which comes with symptoms of mental and physical impairment. At the water's edge, there is a faded sign that says, Easy Entry, Blue Hole. It's just a few feet from the sign to the sinkhole, and divers love it there because it is challenging. Divers that go below the 130-foot limit, technical divers, will go 184 feet below the surface to a tunnel that leads to the open sea. 
Known as the arch, the entrance is dark and there are currents that will grab at divers' fins. It's pretty spooky and beautiful at the same time. In April of 2000, 22-year-old Russian-Israeli diver Yuri Lipsky strapped on an air tank and a helmet camera, loaded his belt with weights, and plunged into the blue hole. He never resurfaced. Lipsky died at just over 300 feet underwater. His body was retrieved by a rescue diver and the footage from his camera was still intact. It shows a very haunting descent into panic until the diver finally removes his breathing apparatus. Nearby on a cliff, there are 14 memorial plaques dedicated to divers who have lost their lives at the Blue Hole. Nicknamed the Diver Cemetery, the Blue Hole at Dahab has claimed numerous lives over the years, yet people continue flocking to it by the thousands. While nobody knows for sure, experienced divers in Dahab suggest that 200 people have died in the hole in recent years. As free diving and technical diving become more popular, the deaths at the Blue Hole of Dahab seem to increase. While some believe that death can be avoided simply by doing your research, others remain unconvinced that common sense safety precautions are enough to spare people's lives. One certainty is that traveling into the Blue Hole of Dahab is an experience reserved for advanced divers. So be careful out there. Number three, the Azure Window and Blue Hole of Gozo. On the Maltese island of Gozo, there's a 328-foot high rock formation known as the Azure Window. Beneath it, there's a collapsed underwater limestone cave featuring a diverse array of marine life including all kinds of fish, fireworms, lobster, seahorses, and octopuses. The 49-foot wide blue hole is one of Malta's most popular diving sites. It's connected to the open sea by an arch 33 feet below the water's surface. You can go down the hole, then exit to the ocean through an archway, or explore the cavern as the light comes down from the surface. Nice, right? The Azure window above the Blue Hole was destroyed by Mother Nature during a sea storm in March of 2017. This was incredibly disappointing to most people, but divers admitted that it made the underwater landscape even more stunning. If it looks familiar, it might be because it was the site of Dothraki land in the opening episode of Game of Thrones. Number 2. Santa Rosa Blue Hole The Santa Rosa Blue Hole is a natural swimming hole located in New Mexico along the historic Route 66. It sits at a near constant temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit and has a surface diameter of 80 feet, which expands to 130 feet at the bottom. According to measurements taken during the 70s, the hole is roughly 225 feet deep, although it might be deeper. The hole was a popular pit stop for tourists until 1976, when two divers became trapped in the pool's underground caves. The hole was subsequently closed to visitors. Divers began exploring the hole and its cave system again in 2013. They were initially hindered by debris and tight passages, but stated their intentions to continue exploring. The divers subsequently discovered ancient Maya relics, along with the skulls of an extinct New World monkey species. While there may be many fascinating things to discover in these types of places, always remember to be extra careful and never overestimate your experience. In 2016, a diver named Shane Thompson from California became trapped in the hole's passageways and drowned. These blue holes are beautiful and also dangerous. Number 1. Dragon Hole The South China Sea is home to a legendary blue hole called the Eye of the Sea. Local fishermen say it is where the Monkey King found his golden cudgel in the 16th century novel Journey to the West. FYI, a cudgel is a short, thick stick used as a weapon. Known as Dragon Hole, a recent expedition has demonstrated that it is quite possibly the deepest blue hole on the planet. Measuring 987.2 feet deep, or 300.89 meters, it is 330 feet or 100 meters deeper than Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. Located about 25 kilometers or 16 miles south of Discovery Reef in the Paracel Islands, this area is highly disputed and is claimed by China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Using an underwater robot and a depth sensor, scientists investigated the Dragon Hole's mysterious environment. The hole's upper portions were home to around 20 marine organisms. The water lacks oxygen beyond 328 feet, and very little life can be found at this level. This absence of oxygen makes the environment extremely dangerous for divers, according to geoscientist Lisa Park Bush, who told Live Science that in some cases the water is even sulfuric. While many experienced divers can handle Dragon Hole, it's no place for beginners. We can free dive together instead, I guess. 
Dragon Hole most likely formed during a glacial period when sea levels were lower. When the last ice age ended and continental glaciers melted, sea levels once again rose and seawater flooded Dragon Hole. Thanks for watching! Have you ever been to any of these places? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time!